Hello, my friend. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, you are very welcome uh, with us uh, at Syrian Virtual University. Our course is Master of Business Administration. Module name is Strategic Management. And our module code is ST106. It's session number one. And we are today in chapter number one, which is talking about understanding business strategy. Understanding business strategy. We will have this uh, a chapter over two parts. In the first part, we will have about 25 to 30 minutes. In, then we will have a break for, let's say, 10 minutes. Then we get back with part number two. So again, we will have this chapter over two parts. And my name, I'm the module director, Etir Maj Sakur, Associate Professor of Strategic Management. Of Strategic Management. Again, you are very welcome with us. And every, uh, please pay attention. Uh, keep listening carefully. Uh, we will have an interesting module, which is very helpful and useful to your life and over your life, practical and empirical side, in addition to academic side. So please, be attention, uh, have, uh, have your time uh, full of uh, thinking about uh, this chapter and this module, general speaking. Uh, please don't hesitate at all, preparing your question, and uh, I will be ready with you all the time to answer your question. It's my pleasure to be with you. We will have different students of Master of Business Administration from different majors and different backgrounds. Again, as you can see here from this uh, slide, ST106, Strategic Management and Understanding, chapter number one, Understanding Business Strategy. And as you can tell here from this uh, module or from this slide, Master of Business Administration. Uh, it's nice to hear, uh, to hear from you and very interesting to listen to your ideas and to listen uh, to your experience. And I would ask you to have your say loudly. Please have your say. What I mean, be prepared to, uh, to ask any question you would like. Think openly, with open mind, and in a pragmatic and a dramatic way, we will be with us, and we will be together over about uh, 12 to 14 lectures, and you have to, you have to uh, listen. Uh, 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 carefully, before each lecture, before each lecture, you have to listen carefully to this to this uh, uh, record. And please don't hesitate. Prepare your question in, for each chapter and for each section, for each part, and uh, offline. You listen to this, and we will be together online to discuss any question or any ideas you would like to talk about. Okay, is that right? Very nice. In each, in each uh, 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 chapter, at the beginning of each chapter, we have intended learning objectives and objective outcomes. So what does that mean? After finishing this chapter, we, we, we want, we wish every one of you be ready and to, 
to, uh, to be occupied with uh, uh, mentality and uh, 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 different measures and different uh, new experience and to think with us in a strategic and a pragmatic way and method. So, at the, at the end of this lecture, we wish each one of you to achieve the following, the following intended, intended learning of outcome and objective. So, in the first one, we want to we want from you to recognize the term strategic management. What does that mean? Okay, so you think about this in deep. What does that mean? Strategic management. So after at the end of this lecture, you will discover and you will recognize with us what does that mean? Uh, strategic management. All right. Then we con we together we will consider components of a strategic management statement. The main statements of strategic management, dimension of strategic management. As you can see here. After that, we gather together distinct distinguish schools of strategy. Schools of strategy. Distinguish schools of strategy. Realize the importance of strategic management. Why we have to think strategically or in a strategic way on this? Earth? Why we be? Why we have to be uh, pragmatic and to have uh, uh, this dialectic uh, thinking and thought and the strategic thought about our future, our life, our company's future? Then at the end of this lecture. And this chapter, we identified difference between public and private uh, uh, steering companies. We will have uh, a, a homework and task for you to recognize uh, two steering companies from your uh, from your experience, from the internet, from your uh, uh, life, general life. You have to choose one public and one private company and to compare between them uh, uh, in terms of strategic management, thought, statements, vision, mission, objective, etc. Okay, is that fine? Hope so, inshallah. So, let's go ahead. So, we talk about intended learning or outcomes. We go ahead and to distinguish some keywords uh, in each lecture and in each chapter. We have, uh, let's say, uh, some uh, uh, interesting and uh, some keywords to 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 be to keep in mind. So in this chapter we have, let's say, this the following just a few words: strategic management. Just to remind you and to think about these key issues, what is strategic management? What does that mean, schools of a strategy? Right? To think about this, what does that mean, schools of strategy? Then, we, after that, we, we, we recognize what is bundle of decisions? Bundle of decisions? Next keyword, what is keyword? What is stakeholders? What comes to your mind when I say stakeholders? So from your experience, from your life, from your pragmatic life. So what does that mean, stakeholders and strategic intent? The meaning of vision. Intended mission. Goals and objectives. All these keywords is very important to think about 
and to keep them in mind over this lecture. So, please join us. Join us not only with vision, but I mean vision, mission, and your thoughts, your ideas. Make, take a pencil or pen and start, uh, start let's say, uh, preparing some questions and the queries to be discussed at the end of this lecture. At the end of this lecture. And as I mentioned, we will have two, we will have two, uh, two sections, two parts will be, will be, will be, uh, will be discussed uh, in this, uh, in this chapter. And the, in the mid, we will have, in the middle, uh, we'll have break for, let's say, five to ten minutes. What are the main uh, uh, elements and what is the structure of this chapter? First, we will have introduction to the meaning of strategic management and strategy definition. Uh, general speaking, general speaking, what that, does that mean? What comes in your mind? What comes to your mind when I say strategy? And the answer for this will be from your mind, from your experience, from your thoughts, from your business, your major, your background. So it's, it's up to you. It's up to you to think about, about let's say, this term or this terminology. Components of strategic management and strategic statement will be discussed, like vision, mission, intent, uh, let's say, uh, uh, vision, mission, intent, or let's say, uh, dimension, stakeholders, all these keywords in, in the strategy will be recognized. We should like, we have to shed light on this dimension to be discussed in carefully and in depth. Right? And then we will go ahead to schools of strategy. Mainsberg. Mainsberg uh, uh, identified about, let's say, 10 schools of strategy. Schools of strategy divided into a second school or approach. And that will be our uh, fourth, our, about, about, uh, our fourth topic for this, for this today lecture. At the end of this lecture, we will have expertium exercise, which is comparison between public and private company, between public and private company, uh, uh, you have to search the internet, you have to search the internet, for further information and to compare between them in for in for in specific terms or specific topics and key issue to compare between them and to give a result of this comparison. Is that right? Hope everything is okay so far. And we move a slide ahead. And we start thinking about strategy. Okay, guys. You know, each one of us, uh, we are afraid, to some extent, of something we don't know why. We are, let's say, afraid or worried. We are worried about our future. Worried about our future. We think in this, we try to predict, 
we try to forecast, we try to foresee our future, but actually it's difficult. The question now is to you. If you are listening now to me, anyone now listening to me, I ask you the following question. Why are you afraid of your future? Why? Future make us worried. Why this future? Why future? Why future make us worry? Uh, this big question. Uh, someone now think for this day. 10, 20 seconds. Think with me why. Are you worried of your future for 10 or 20 seconds? Uh, someone will say me, uh, we, we have ambiguity. Right? Of your future. Another one said uncertainty. Right? Uncertainty. We are not sure, unsure about our future. Future is confusing. Different changes coming, and we don't know where are we going. Because there is a dramatic, there is a dramatic, uh, dramatic, uh, let's say, uh, dramatic changes coming every day. It makes our life difficult, and not only at an individual level, at company level, at state level, at organization level, at ministry level, at country level, nobody knows exactly, no one has certain information about future and about our destiny. Okay, guys. So the question now, we have the, the next question. How we mitigate, mitigate, make it easy. Do you know what the meaning of mitigate? How to mitigate these changes? How we forecast and predict these changes? How we can make future more uh, uh, easy to, to, to survive and to go ahead? This question is to you now. Think about it now for, for five seconds, ten seconds. Okay. Then, how we make, uh, someone who said, we forecast, this is your eyes, and this is your mind. Think about your future, predict and forecast. How we make future more easy and uh, mitigate our worry, mitigate our, mitigate our, let's say, uh, Mitigate our future, our, our these changes, make it easier for to survive and to go ahead. Forecast, forecast, foresee, predict the future. Okay, that's fine. Then someone of you said, "Let's prepare a plan." Let's prepare a plan to make our future more easy, right? And more smiley one, not a afraid one. Not afraid one, right? Not afraid and uh, confused company or confused state or confused, uh, uh, confused individual or person. So, we have to describe and prepare a strategy. It's about having a strategic management and to have strategic vision and mission. We make our life easier with the predicting and preparing a strategic plan. 
prepare strategic plans in your future. Right, guys? That's very nice. So we have to be more competitive, get better performance, and higher performance with a competitive advantage. With a competitive advantage. With a competitive advantage. We conduct SWOT analysis. We conduct a SWOT analysis. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and the threats. I do appreciate and I do consider that many of you from different backgrounds. So we might have, let's say, English literature. I mean, in this course of MBA. Civil engineer. Let's say we will have maybe uh, some people from linguistic side, or let's say architecture. Some some students are economists and accountants. Some of you maybe are uh, uh, from mathematics or uh, uh, I mean different. Uh, what I mean different background. So I uh, will try to make this module easy for all of you and clear to all of you. We will try to make it, we will make our academic life easier. So please, again, don't hesitate and ask me any question and keep in touch with me for any question you would like and uh, any term you are suspect about or you don't understand or you don't like it, tell me to discuss it uh, fully in our online course. So again, you have to analyze, uh, to, uh, you have to analyze your future and prepare your strategic plan with conducting at the first SWOT analysis and we will talk about this uh, 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 we'll talk about this later on. We'll talk about this later on. Uh, and we will have enough time, of course, to explain this and give examples about this. We have to support our strengths and minimize and avoid our weaknesses. I mean, I, when I say our, that means our organization vision mission, objectives, our organization, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and free. We have to invest and get better and best of our opportunity and avoid seeds and face our destiny and the face of your company. Don't, say, don't forget that this comes from external environment. This came from external environment and this came from internal environment. Okay, guys, done. Easy one. Think so. Easy one. We go ahead and we 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 talk about as I mentioned. I'm talking. I'm I'm showing you this slide, but I'm talking general speaking. Please please read this carefully. Read this carefully, and uh, uh, any term you would like to ask, I'm, I'm ready. I mean, uh, online, we are now offline. And uh, please uh, uh, think about your, your future, about your, uh, uh, your entire organization plan, don't forget that, and your strategic plan, and your destiny of your, this, of this, uh, of your company. And an important issue that is that an important issue is that how all these are correlated. All these factors how are correlated. Your vision, mission, objectives, goals, 
uh, your future, uh, your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and the threat, etc. All these goals, objectives, I mean all those factors, how they are correlated and uh, uh, they are correlated and um, they say affect your business future and your business life. Okay, guys? So far, so good? Hope so, inshallah. So far, so good. So, what is the strategy? After this, all this introduction, what comes to your, what comes to your mind when I say strategy? What comes to your mind when I say strategy? Uh, look at the following word. Read it carefully. This is an red red uh, line, red line to to make make focus or shed light on it. Look at the the keywords. Keywords. Look look at this one. Strategy is direction one. I will count them one. Scope over long term. Achieve advantage. Four, for the organization through its configuration of resources. Five, within, look at this important word, challenging environment, very important. Number six, to meet the needs of markets, needs, market needs. Number seven. Now we are number seven. And to fulfill stakeholder expectations. Number eight. To fulfill stakeholder expectations. Right? So please, I ask you please to, uh, to keep this in mind. Strategy, direction, scope, long term. Advantage, configuration of resources, challenging environment, you see, you see with me, challenging environment, markets, and stakeholder expectations. Markets and stakeholder expectations. Stakeholder expectations. Don't forget this, please. From now on, you, uh, generally speaking, by the way, I will uh, tell you something, guys. When I ask my students to give me a meaning or synonym of strategy, directly strategy says it's a plan. No, guys. Strategy is not merely a plan at all. At all. Strategy is inclusive a plan. Inclusive some plans, yes, but it's more than a plan. Strategy is a mentality and thought. Strategy is how to achieve the philosophy of achieving things, how to done things in appropriate, much and a good way. Right? Okay, guys. So please, again, keep this in mind. Strategy is not only, strategy is not only, uh, let's say, uh, uh, plan at all, from now on, strategy, direction, strategy, scope, long term, look this at correlated circle, advantage, Challenging environment, needs, resources, stakeholders, all these are correlated to achieve our target, to make future easy and to predict and to overcome all the drawbacks of your company, obstacles of your country, obstacles of your life. Right? So, Again, 
study is about the following. Issue here. Look at the following slide here. Strategy is about answering the following question. Why is the business trying to get it to in, in the long term? This is direction and scope. Which markets? So it's about scope and direction. Which market should a business compete in? Then it's about advantage. <clears throat> How can the business perform better than the competition or the competitor in this market or in targeted market? What resources, skills, assets, finance? Uh, of course, you know, guys, we have different resources, facilities, technology, competence, technical issue, financial issue. Assets, all this should be in and, and should be uh, 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 to, to prepared already to achieve our target. So first we have direction, scope and organization, scope of organization, advantage, resources, environment about challenging environment, especially nowadays, guys. You know how much is difficult nowadays to achieve your target at business level, at country level, at state level, ministry level. So please uh, keep this in mind. How much, uh, to what extent our life become difficult and complicated? Become difficult and complicated. Our life getting in, in, in locally, nas at national level, at international level, globally, you know, now communication, uh, 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 all this in the internet, globalization, everything now is globalized and we have high competition of all nations uh, uh, internal. And now is really our life and our world is small village of the internet, of the communication and high speed of this life and dramatical life. Strategy is about stakeholders. What are the values and expectations of those who have power in the round of the business? Right? What are the values and expectations of those who have power in the round uh, or around the business? By the way, not only external stakeholders. We have internal and the stakeholders. And we can maybe in chapter number two, we might talk about this. And we, we have, we have uh, 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 in deep question, uh, in deep question, or let's say in deep, uh, uh, let's say in deep, uh, deep uh, discussion about this issue stakeholder internal and external stakeholder okay guys this uh, this is as uh, this is slide this is the end of uh, 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 part one of a chapter one please take a take a break take a break for let's say uh, five minutes and get back with me soon guys okay guys thank you very much and uh, again uh, i will be waiting for you let's say after five minutes of or ten minutes of a break and uh, that's the end of a uh, chapter one part one and you will move to chapter one part two thank you very much